Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're going to expand the train line we put in a few episodes ago, and I think we are going to expand it up to Durham and over here to Santa Clara on the other end, because we do have a ton of cars moving back and forth between these cities, and pulling up our destinations tab, it seems like a lot of them are moving this way into Bridgeport and then either going down here across the river or Lexington, which we already have a train line going to, so that doesn't really need service. But getting this train line uh, from Santa Clara running down to Bridgeport and Clearwater will definitely help on that end. And then very similarly to Durham, getting a connection between Durham and Louisville might help ease a lot of the traffic coming out of Durham as their only public transportation option at the moment takes them to Mesquite. So if we then take them to Louisville, they're in a better position to go other places from there which hopefully will encourage them to use the train more than the roads. So to start off, I think the easiest way to go is to start here at Santa Clara because all you really have to do is expand the track just a little bit. We don't even need to add two because this will be sort of the end of the line. So we can leave that end open like so. And we just need to figure out how we're going to get it out of the city here. Because we could follow along here. Or we could maybe cut through and do something more like this. Which I think we'll try to cut it across more like this just because that lines us up better for where we need to connect up in Cedar Rapids. So we'll pull this all the way out to here, and then from here we can come from Cedar Rapids and figure out how we're gonna connect up to that connection. So we're going to start here, and it doesn't look like we'll be able to bridge over We really put ourselves in a tricky position here, so we might delete this whole corner for the time being so we can lay down the track. And then first we need to figure out where it's going to come out of. We need to figure out what our elevation changes are going to be. And just connecting it straight up like this, looks like we avoid any road connections. We have a few tunnels and then we bridge over the highway here which is actually pretty cool. I really like how this looks. Doesn't look like we can get any cool bridges. I think we'll go with this bridge. I think it looks the coolest for this sort of highway overpass. So that was simple. We can just connect up like that and not have to worry about it. And then we just follow along with the second track and get about as far as we can go where we can then connect it over like that. So now we just have to put in our signals and fix up the connection going into towards this way. So we'll get our last signals in here and then fix this connection here. So I think we just have to delete that one little bit of track and then line it straight into the station. So now we have that and then we can come over to the other side towards Durham and start to figure out what we're going to do here. Now at this station here, we can 
Actually, I think we can just use the other line that's not being used because that'll come out just fine. So we'll start our way over in Louisville and just as sort of an experiment, let's see what it'll give us when we try to just connect right into the station. Sometimes it gives a pretty decent result. Although it doesn't look like it's... Oh, there we go. So, obviously, elevation is going to be tricky for this. This is a massive bridge that we would need to build in order to get over to Durham. So this is going to be tricky, figuring out how we're going to navigate this. We're definitely going to need a fairly tall bridge, but this might be a little tall for us. All right, so to start off, we're going to make our way down just a little bit because we definitely can't afford to make a bridge that high just across this river. We can get a pretty decent bridge, probably just like this. And then we can choose something different. Let's go with this bridge. I think that will probably be pretty cool. So we'll just get this going across here again, place it down, and we'll roll with this. I think it'll provide a pretty unique feature across the river here. So now comes the challenging part of hoping that we can get enough elevation here to connect up to the station. And it definitely looks like there's way too much slope, so we're going to need to figure this out somehow. All right, so we were able to get a track up here. This bridge ended up being a little bit taller than I would have liked, but I still don't think it's too terribly unrealistic. So it looks cool and it should function pretty well. This curve here does have a top speed of, I think it was about 108 miles an hour, but that'll be just fine for the trains that we currently have running on it. So now all we have to do is swing around this second track all the way over to Durham. And then we will be able to extend the line. So now we can come in here. We'll just start this line from scratch. So we'll have it start all the way out here in Santa Clara. Over to Cedar Rapids. Into Bridgeport across the river to Clearwater, then through the mountain to Louisville, and then all the way over to Durham. So now we just follow this back, and everything should work out. So it does look like our line is going the right way, everything's on the right tracks, and we should be able to hit play. So of course we're going to need more trains for this, but we'll let the trains that are already running on here sort of spread out and let demand build up before we do actually add more trains. So now while we wait for our trains to make their way through and around all of this, we're going to continue going through some of our older lines and optimizing the 
truck situation on many of them. So we'll start here with this whole plank operation going on. And many of these vehicles could definitely be upgraded and this will greatly improve uh, the traffic in this truck station because we won't have as many trucks driving through here and we won't have to worry about them getting all caught up and in each other's way. So we'll just pretty much select every line that's running here. And I think for all of them we'll use these steak trucks because a lot of the destinations are pretty close here and they will be a lot closer. So here we can sell some of these vehicles. Looks like some of our trains are having issues. I think we just have to turn them off and turn them back on. That usually just fixes the problem. But now I believe we only have one or two more lines that we really need to take a look at for this station. And taking a quick look around, it seems like we don't really have any more uh, tiny trucks running around on these roads. So that's good. Hopefully we'll begin to see this being taken full advantage of now that we're pretty much maxing out what we can put in and take out of this area. So quickly, while we're sort of in the same general area, let's fix some of these intersections here in Knoxville. There doesn't seem to be traffic leaving here, so I think it's mainly an intersection issue where we have all these tiny intersections where only one or two cars can fit. So we'll just delete some of these roads and then we'll place them back in where they will then meet at a more normal location. So, such as there, and then from this corner, if we get a curved road maybe, we can then work it around so it connects up to this intersection. Just like that. And then we can do the same thing here. So hopefully that'll allow slightly better traffic flow in this area so the cars won't be stopping on a very short section. Instead, they'll have much more space to pile up at each stop sign or traffic light. Now, the next line I think we're going to upgrade and overhaul is coming from this quarry here. So first of all, all of these trucks are running on dirt roads, which aren't really useful anymore at all. So we'll upgrade this to an actual road all the way to the stop that we're using. Might as well upgrade a few more, although there's not even really any connections all the way out here. But now that we have that, we can then come in here. Of course, we'll need to expand our platforms since we'll be increasing the amount of trucks and the size of them. So we can then grab these and replace them with probably these trucks. They hold 35. And they'll still hit the top speed on these roads. And maybe we could even get rid of four of these trucks. So we'll stick with that. So now we have coming to this port fully upgraded. And I think it's about time we upgrade some of these ships. Because they are kind of old and we definitely have things that can carry a much larger amount. So I think honestly these 
boats the Merlin might be our best option. It's not the highest capacity, like this one is 300, but it is about three miles an hour faster, which at the speed that these boats go is a pretty big upgrade in terms of top speed. So I think that'll be good. I don't think we need to increase or decrease the amount of vehicles on this line. So we'll just stick with these. And we can move on to the next part of the production chain. So then it all gets dropped off over here, which is sort of causing issues. The traffic coming from uh, Durham, although it does seem to be slowly thinning out as traffic makes its way into Mesquite. So I'm not too sure if we need to do anything with this road. We might upgrade this little portion to have uh, bus lanes just so our trucks can get by. But other than that, I don't think we're really gonna touch this road at the moment until we determine if traffic's getting better or worse. So next we're going to take a look at our trucks that are coming up here to the quarry and we have pretty decent trucks on here. I believe we're using these ones, however it would be more efficient to use these trucks as they have more capacity. So we'll do that, they'll have a little bit more capacity which hopefully will then increase the amount of stone getting taken up here and then we can begin to look at getting more construction materials out of here which speaking of that we need to expand this more so we're not losing all of our construction materials as they're being made and then of course we want to upgrade this road to allow for a higher max speed. So now the last thing we're going to do in this video is just check up on Durham and Santa Clara. Just make sure everything's functioning fine. It looks like our buses that we put in in a previous video are starting to get around and it doesn't look like we're having too many capacity issues, although 7th Street over here is getting pretty full because I think all the buses are getting here full and everyone wants to come to the train station so when they do reach this stop there's no room left on the buses so maybe we'll grab these and add maybe just two buses it's not much but we don't want to go overkill and end up losing money down the road so we'll do that and then coming into here Everything's functioning well at this bus station and up here at the train station we can see we're starting to gather a fair amount of interest on the new connection we have. And looking at our destinations layer that just confirms this with this number being up to 86 and then even more as we get sort of into the main section of this line. Down here in Clearwater we can see there's definitely a demand for people to go from Clearwater to Bridgeport. We have over 400 people waiting so that's good to see that confirms the demand that we previously had of going back and forth between these cities. Bridgeport not really getting the same treatment, not too many people in here but I think this train did just come through and pick up a good amount. And while we're looking at this, we can see it's slowly easing into making money. Of course, we did add two new stations, so it's going to take a while for this to balance out and accurately reflect the demands around here. But we do have this train coming in, and they're going to pick up a lot of people waiting here in Clearwater. 
And then just coming back to Santa Clara to check up on things. Traffic has gotten worse through here. However, we are trying to work on it. So hopefully as it gets better, more of these bus stations will get more and more empty as we get them to the train station where they probably want to go anyway. But here we do have 36, 37 people waiting to take this line. So that's also good. I think that's because a whole busload of people just got dropped off here, which means there's not as much demand for people to leave the city by private transportation, especially if they're coming through Cedar Rapids and through Bridgeport to get to other places. Hopefully they'll now prioritize the train here. As we see on our destinations layer, we do have a very high destination amount coming on this line. I don't think it's accurately reflected yet in our numbers, but this line is very much in demand on this side of the map. So with that, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.